Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And guys, I am going to be taking a request from one of my viewers to go after Barracuda. Now, it's been a while since I've gone after Barracuda and I thought it would be worthy to go give it another try. So, we are going to be going to, I think we're going to go to Polar Storm. Simply because it is the one where I caught the biggest of the Barracuda. Now, as far as whether or not I'm going to do a competition, I don't think so this time. I think we're going to do free fishing again. And we're going to do night fishing because that's a lot harder. The reason I'm doing that is because ones that come at night come a lot bigger too. So, we're going to go ahead and give this a try. All right. One thing that's nice about not being in these competitions is that you can take a little more time to pause and talk about things. But I'm going to run over here. In fact, I'm going to try to run over here anyway. To this little place here. And we're going to start off right off the bat right over here. In one of these ice houses. Because it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Anyway, we're going to... Sh Here's the gear I'm currently using at this point. I did use the heavy Golden Phoenix. Now, I paid a little extra for this one simply because I wanted to have the speed and because it just looks cool. And, <laughs> honestly, the next lure that I'm using is called the Tiger. Now, this is specifically for Barracuda. So we're going to be using that one. There are others here that don't do too bad, but that is probably the best one for the Barracuda. I think it was a skin. No, it wasn't a Scandinavian King. It was the character. I can't remember which one it was. One of these I thought was also good for... Yes, Berry Porridge is good for Barracuda as well. So you can either use that one or... The tiger, but since Barracuda is first on the list, I would go with that one. We might give it a try, see how it works. And the hook, that would be the Dotsie, best for Barracuda. And as far as the bait goes, we're going to be switching over the lure to this one called, well, I thought it was Blue Gem. Ah, it's Party Box, these purple ones. They're good for Barracuda. All right. Now, we are ready to rock and roll, guys. Let's go ahead and drop our line in. See, it's not even frozen. If we'd been outside, it would have been. And we're going to see if we can't catch us a barracuda or two or three or hundred or five thousand or something, you know. We'll see. But I tell you, you will not have any question that we have one. But there's going to probably be a lot longer lull in this, so I'll probably be cutting it. But the ones we get are going to be a lot bigger. There we go. I don't know. I don't know if this is a barracuda or not, guys. It's a Xander. Not too bad. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I think I don't think they're quite this deep. They're more in the middle at this time of, time, time of night. I think I got another small one here. Alright, looks like we are catching a lot of Xander here. I'm thinking about, thinking seriously about moving here. A little too quiet, guys. Just a little too quiet. All right, let's let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head up here to this area. That's where I caught a lot of them in the past. So let's head up that way. 
Hello, bunny bunny. Scare the bunny. Chase the bunny. Alright, let me check the map again. Yep, I think the last time I was here, I did pretty good right here. So I think that's what we're going to do this time. We'll take it down. Also did really good in this little area here. So, might go over there too. Of course, there's nothing to protect us, but right there and right here. There's also a good spot right over there, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. Yeah, right here, right here, and I think over here we didn't do too bad. So let's let's see what happens here. Let me go ahead and drop a little lure in. And here we go. We'll give this a try. There we go. That was a pretty good bite. That was, I mean, it wasn't like monstrous, but still, it was a pretty good bite. It bent over real good. There we go. Now, that's a little, that's the littlest barracuda I think I've caught. Not quite three pounds. But he's got to have relatives. He didn't just come into existence. Oh, this is a little fella. This is a little fella. It's probably a flounder. Since it's so far to the bottom. Told ya. I think I might have to raise it up a little bit. I'm getting a lot of the bottom feeders. Yep, we're going to have to raise this up just a touch. So I think we're going to keep catching flounder. There we go. That's a little bit better. Still, it's not huge. It's a decent, a pretty decent Xander, actually. Something's telling me I'm going to have to go outside. Yeah, night fishing is very much different. If this was evening, and let me tell you, either one of... There we go. Okay, that's a little bit better. You either want to be on evening or night. That's when they bite, guys. Evening and night. You might get one every now and then, but... Whoa, that's a pretty good Xander. I think we're going to pull stakes and go out like I just thought here, guys. We got one little one, but that's just not going to be enough. Let me check the map here. Yep, I know where I need to go. Alright. I think we're in a good spot here, guys. I'm. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think this is probably it. We're going to take it just a little bit off the bottom because I don't want to get a bunch of flounder. Now we're going to have issues with things freezing up because it's, it's out in the elements and it's cold. 
not as cold as it could be. It's minus 9. I've seen it minus 23. Ah, uh, maybe too close to the bottom. Darn flounder. Danged old fin flapping flounder. No, it's bluegill. Well, then we might be all right. Bluegill are always a possibility on this map, so... There we go. Now that was a much better bite. don't think this is a monster, though. But I think it's much better than what we've been catching. There we go. 4.55. There you go. So they are right here. Just got to get past the bluegill and the flounders. Okay, not too bad. Whoa, not bad. Not bad for a bluegill. Of course, the damn bluegill looks almost as big as the barracuda, doesn't it? <laughs> There we go. That was a decent bite. I still don't think it was a leader bite, but I was going to say it's a little barracuda. I'm catching a lot of little barracudas. That's weird. I guess we got a small school. There we go. Now this is a significant bite. Took a while. Took a quite a while, but this is bending the rod pretty good, so I think we got us a decent one this time, guys. Wow, that's a good size Xander. Man. I will take him. It's not a Barracuda, but I told you this is more Xander territory. Let's try it one more time. If we get another Xander, we'll move down to the southern area. Let's see if that doesn't prove to be more fruitful. Alright, guys. It is kind of quieted down now. We're going to go ahead and pick up stakes and head down south a little bit more. I think I'm going to fish off of this shelf right here. Right where that white fox is. We'll start off a little on the deep side and then we'll give it a try a little more shallow. Flounder. I'm telling you that's what it is. Flounder. Pick it up just a little bit. There we go, guys. Finally. Just had to get it up a little bit higher than the flounder hung out. 
And if this is a Xander, it's going to be a leaderboard Xander. <laughs> so, <laughs> that much I can tell you. But this one's, this one's giving me a fight. Yeah, he's pretty good size. Whoa, there you go. 24.51 pounds. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let's see if he's got some buddies. All right, we're going to try to find at least one more good size one, and then we're going to have to call this probably an episode because I'm sure that we're getting close to time here. Aha! Wow! That's much better. If you keep getting ones like that, I might drag this out a little bit longer. Well, last time they were up north. That kind of struck me as odd. Now they're more towards the, well, I guess the middle. Let's see how big they are here. 13. Not as big as the other one, but still pretty good size. Letting drop on my gear, I guess. <laughs> Whoa. All right. That. That was big. Okay, this is big. This is probably bigger than the first one. Okay, this is giving me a real fight, guys. gonna take a while come on big fella oh wow he's big he is big 31.38 pounds yes he is jeez all right let's well that was weird he did a little spasm there. <laughs> All right. As long as they keep biting like that, I'm not stopping, guys. And we got another big one. Jeez, and I think this one's even bigger. Yeah, this one's even bigger. That's that's for certain. Whoa, this is this is actually kind of hard to get in. Keeping it in the green is not easy. Oh wow, I really am curious how big this one is. Jeez, 48.15 pounds, guys. 48. Couldn't get to my spoon. <laughs> Man, that's a big fish. That fish is seriously over in the way over there. There we go. He's out of the way now. Wow. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. But so far, they've been getting bigger each time. If it gets bigger than that, how big is it going to be? That's the question.
I know, pretty big. I don't think he's as big, though. But he's still pretty big. Twelve point four nine, not too bad. <laughs> A pile of barracuda. Pile of old barracuda. All right, guys, we're gonna have to make this last one that we do. We are definitely going way over the time here. I like to try to keep ice lakes around twenty minutes. Unless there's a competition going on. Strictly because I'm sure you guys are like, okay, that I get it, I get it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like this one's not going to be big. So we probably got us something different here. Yep. How in the heck did you swim with all these guys around? You'd have thought something would have eaten you. Alright, one more barracuda and that should be it. Whoa! Okay. That was a good bite. And I think we got our last barracuda. I am so curious to see how much cash these guys bring. He's not as big as that one, but yeah, 7.44. But still, I think we need to, to end this episode, guys. I'm afraid we are really running out of time here. Doesn't mean we won't come back. Let's go see how much these fish give us cash wise 1,554 171.55 pounds of fish 20 fish caught it's not bad guys not bad anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this episode please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and I will be back with another episode of Ice Lakes so until then guys Always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.